Colossal Biosciences, the company that is the de-extinction company that has already announced that they are de-extincting the woolly mammoth and the thylacine, announced today. The Say dodo. It. The dodo. They are bringing the iconic wow. dodo bird back from extinction. This is so big, you guys. I mean, what an incredible thing to see in our lifetime, this giant flightless pigeon come back to Mauritius where it was extirpated from. I mean, this is, to me, this is the most exciting what's in the news of the They've year. They've secured $150 million. That's incredible. To, to help this project. The dodo yep. is one of those things where like I saw, I don't know if it was a taxidermy one or just a recreation. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was just a recreation in a museum when I was a kid. And they're, they're big and they're funny looking. And I was like, it's definitely one of the things that was like, oh, what a goddamn shame that I'll never be able to see one of these alive. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. And it's, and this, but, oh, sorry, go ahead, Peter. Well, I was just going to say, I mean, last time we posted like a video that got a lot of views or whatever. There's a, a lot of people we were talking about the them bringing back the woolly mammoth. Yeah. There's a lot of like controversy about that. I feel like this one's a no brainer. We extinct this animal like morons humans did and we're bringing it back to its natural environment where it where it existed right it's What's funny wrong with that it's fun you're right by the way you're not wrong what's funny is that the controversy is definitely like misplaced because bringing mammoths back will help with like combat global warming and climate change blah 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 anyway what's so exciting about the dodo coming back is this is the most iconic extinct animal in history, right? If yes. you watch the if you Absolutely. watch the cartoon movies Ice Age, if you go on any anything, right? You see the dodo bird like when it comes to extinction and we talk about the dodo bird and one of the reasons that I think is often swept under the rug that we talk about it is because we landed on Mauritius 10 years later there was none left and the reason that we killed them one it was for habitat but two there was nothing to fucking do on the island. So here came these colonialists that would just take a big stick and go for a jungle walk and just bop them on the head for fun as, hate everybody. as an activity. And they didn't even eat them, by the way. Apparently, they uh. tasted terrible. Apparently, they were a terrible food source. So it was just something to do on the island. And before you know it, there were no dodos left in Mauritius. So uh, I don't know. I just think this is absolutely amazing. Me too. Colossal announced its avian genomics group, which is a group that's dedicated to the de-extinction of birds, avians. And wow. they're starting, you know, that's what this, this round of fundraising was for. They're starting with the Dodo. They have plans, you know, because I've been working with them in a conservation advisory role, I've heard a lot of the inside stuff. They have plans to expand this into other species of which I can't say on the podcast, but like, this is just big, man. You know, this is- It's huge. So cool. <laughs> like, we're going to get to see fucking Dodos. It's, so cool. it's got to be like some of the biggest news- $150 million is going into this, yeah. uh, into this venture here. And, you know, it sounds like they're being responsible about it. You know, it's not just for, uh, appearances or whatever. They're actually doing this in a, in a, a way that benefits conservation. Certainly. Right. For us. Oh yeah, certainly, certainly, certainly. Um, so yeah, the whole thing's just really cool. It's really exciting. It's interesting. Um, I don't know to me, it's, I don't even want to do any more what's in the news because that should stand alone as the most important news maybe of the year. Maybe no more what's in the news this year.